Ladies, gents, boys and girls, Papa Smoke back again with another video. Okay, so today's video is on Papa Gede. But just before I get into that, just to let you know some of the things that's been going on in the House of Smoke. So you haven't had another video like this for a while from me because I've been busy with root work. The only videos I've been putting out there really are ones I've been are adverts and ones I've been doing in my spare time, like little raps and things like that. Um, I've been extremely busy. Um, as a result, to thank you all, I've decided to run offers all week. So keep your eye on my page because there'll be reduced works each day of the week coming. Like I've already reduced tarot reads to £30 from £50. And I've already reduced money work today from £200 to £150 on selected money works. Yeah? Right, so keep your eye on my page because what you need will probably come up with a reduction on it this week. Yeah? Keep your eye on my page. Okay. Also, actually, I'd like to bring up something exciting as well. As we on to the ball, he's back off holiday. So, he was taking time out for a vacation. However, he's back now, and he's actually available to do full rune readings. At least 45 minutes you'll get from him for £50. And you can do consultations from him as well to see what kind of work you need from him, sort of like from the Norse Pagan Pantheon, in order to achieve what you're looking for in life. So don't forget to hit the House of Smoke inbox up and ask about Asbjorn Traval. Okay, so, Papa Gede. Papa Gede was the corpse of the first man, yeah? So don't get him twisted with Baron Sam D because Baron Sam D was the corpse of the first ceremonially buried man. There's a big difference. Um, so, given that Papa Gede was the corpse of the first man, it's also speculated amongst some houses in the Vodou community. And actually, there's quite a bit of division in this because it depends how Abrahamic you are and where your beliefs are, whether they're in the more Abrahamic mindset of things or the more tribal mindset of things. But there's actually speculation that he could be the corpse of Adam. Um, this isn't necessarily confirmed or the case, though. Like I said, your belief on that would depend on how Abrahamic you are. Yeah? But it can be speculated that he was a, a, the corpse of Adam. And as a result, he was initially human. And may have just been deified due to the sacredness of being the first human to have passed away. Yeah? Okay, so he's seen as something called a cycle pump, ladies and gents. So I don't know if you know what a cycle pump is, but a cycle pump is a spirit that waits at the crossroads and takes the dead to where they need to be, to where they're destined to go. Not only do they do that, they control what goes through the crossroads, what comes in and out of the crossroads to make sure that everything flows through harmonious and as it should be. Only a few deities are cycle pumps, and usually the ones that are are extremely strong and extremely, extremely powerful. Um, Papa Gede himself isn't like normal Gede lords in the way that he's not a stickler for fine things. You can get away with offering him a cheap cigar as opposed to a Cuban. You can get away with offering him an apple as opposed to gold coins. You can get away with offering him Captain Morgan's instead of $300 a glass rum. You know what I mean? He's a spirit of simple things. Um, and I'm not sure why that is. I'm not sure because when he was alive, those simple things were still seen as quite prestigious or not. I have no idea, but he's not like the other Gede Lords in that respect. However, like the other Gede Lords, he does have quite a crass sense of humour and mannerism in the way that he talks. Um, Papa Gede himself is great for divination with the dead. Um, he knows a lot about divination with the dead. And another thing you can work with him for is exorcisms, and this reason being his spirits fear him. The reason they fear him is it's known in the spirit world that he consumes spirits. And by, by consumes, I mean eats them so they don't exist anymore. So killing them beyond death in a way, actually truly removing them from existence, yeah? And combining them in his spiritual energy is part of him, yeah? This scares other spirits. It scares the absolute wits out of them. So for an exorcism, you call and he comes and they either go or they become a buffet. Um... You can correlate him with St. Expedite, and his fate day is um, the Day of the Dead. Now, there's some sort of like disagreement in the different houses as to when this is. Some people do it from the 1st to the 2nd of November, some from the 2nd to the 3rd, some all the way from the 31st of October to the end of the 3rd, just to make sure they've not missed it and they've got it right. Yeah, but his fate day is the Day of the Dead. Now... When you look at Haitian Vodou fates, not specific ones like the Day of the Dead, but uh, Vodou fates where all nations are served, yeah? They're served in a specific order. You get Rada first, Petro second, and Gede last. At the beginning of the Gede rite, you serve Papa Gede. And I think this is symbolically because he was the first male to have died, 
and also because he's Papa Gede, so like probably the highest ranking Gede Lord there is, um, or that has been encountered yet. Um, so just bear that in mind as well. Now, a lot of people see him as a benevolent force because he refuses, well, he doesn't refuse to, because if he has to, he has to, but he doesn't like to take children. And the reason being is it doesn't sit well with him to take a soul before its time. As a result, if a child is sick or in a dangerous situation, you can pray to Papa Gede, and I must stress this next bit, and he may answer your prayers and prevent death. I say may because I can't guarantee anything for you, and I don't want you to come back in the comments and say, oh, you said this and this happened. When I said it, it's a possibility if you pray to him that he may be able to save their lives, especially if it's not their time. Um, however, if you work with the path of the Bokor, such as myself, um, Papa Gedi himself can be also seen as quite a malevolent force. Not only has he, not only has he got an incredibly volatile temper if you annoy him, um, he has full command of the malevolent dead, and also uh, he is able to do something called soul snatching. Now, soul snatching is a very, very dark ritual. It's not something we do for sale at the House of Smoke. I'm not even going to confirm whether we're able to do it or not because it's not something I want associated with my name. But soul snatching is to remove the soul from a living or deceased person and store it in a vessel. Usually the vessel's laid under the Solomonic, uh, Solomonic seals to stop the soul escaping. And then it becomes a zombie, so a spirit contracted to work. But in this case, it would be a spirit forced into a contract of work. Um, he's able to do this on a dark nature. Now, this is usually done very, very rarely. It's not usually done over petty arguments or disputes. It's usually done to the most vile of vile in the community. Um, but it is something that he can do and that it's possible to do. And this is something he does when he indeed is out there eating spirits. Um, so it's not that he's benevolent. It's not that he's malevolent. It's that he's balanced. However... He is traditionally seen as a more benevolent counterpart of Baron Sandy. But then again, Baron Sandy is capable of all sorts. Not to say that Papa Gede isn't, but it's funny how they seem as one's malevolent and one's benevolent. But they're both about as balanced as each other. Um, anyways, this has been Papa Gede. If you've got anything to add in the comments, make it respectful. Don't talk rubbish that's not right because it'll be deleted because it'll be dangerous fuckery. Yeah, right? And, you know... Just keep it all respectful and be nice and that. Anything else, um, hit me up to get in touch with Asbjorn Traval. Hit me up to get a quote on Voodoo, a reading or an energy healing. Hit me up. Like, share, subscribe. I want to see my subscribers and everything going up. Much love and respect. Don't do anything I wouldn't do, which ain't a right lot. See you later.